Can you show him the keys? Show me the keys. <gasps> wow. We're somewhere very exciting. Say hi, Runes. Hi, Runes. Is that its nose? Is that the doggy's nose? That's your nose? Nose. Hi. I got the keys to the new shop and we're just in here. We're gonna prime over the dog graphic because I'm gonna paint over it tomorrow. But Adam's doing some measuring and I'm just gonna kind of see what makes sense in here and where. What do you think of it? Okay, I did a coat of primer, but I'm going to need another one. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm thinking. This is standing from the front door. I think I'm gonna do shelves over here that kind of don't block the windows, but they're kind of like see-through, so we still get the light, but we have storage for stuff. And then back here, I'm thinking we'll do a whole wall of shelving and storage units with um, like a personalized bracelet or a personalized jewelry bar of some sort. Maybe the cash wrap somewhere over here. And then I'm not sure what over here. Maybe over here we do the personalized jewelry, I don't know. And then I think a couple of chairs here with little tables so people can sit. I just have to look at all the measurements and like everything that I need to put in here and then figure out where it should all go. But it's freezing in here. What do you think of it? Is this cool? Do you wanna see yourself? <gasps> Is that Theo? I haven't updated this video in a while because nothing has been happening with my storefront. It is so infuriating. Uh, basically, back at the end of September, I went to look at it. They told me it'd be ready in a few days. I went to Italy with Adam, came back the middle of October. They finally approved me to get the storefront and then it's just been a waiting game. So, it is now the week of Christmas. So it has been two and a half months and we still don't have a move-in date. So I'm just waiting for the city to release the permit so then they can finish up the work in there, they can get their inspection, and then, and then we will be able to move in. So I haven't really done much for it, but today I ordered a ton of stuff on Ikea. I place a bunch of orders yesterday for stuff for, from Shopify. And then I also ordered side chairs from Target. And today I started packing stuff up in the office. So it's kind of like a disaster zone at this point. These are the two chairs, those two boxes. This bag is all little inventory bins. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. In here is, this is the cash drawer. And then I also got a new card reader because we'll need one for pop-ups, but also one for the store. So this is the one that you can tap and chip and then the dock for it. And I also got these, which I'm hoping will be able to hide all of the wires. There are only two outlets in the entire store. So I'm going to have to run extension cords basically along the entire wall at the floor. So I wanted to get conduit that would hide it. So fingers crossed that will work for what I need it for. So I basically just been spending a ton of money and not being able to move in. So hopefully it'll pay off. Um, it's a little bit stressful, but I turned in my lease the other day and now it's just a very impatient waiting game. Hey, watch out Bubba. Okay, this is the last look at the office or storefront before we put anything in it. We just moved everything out, taped, wash the floors, vacuum all the dog hair. I'm gonna pull the signs down, the little for rent signs, and then we're gonna start building furniture and paint the wall. This is the dog graphic. I've now primed it two times, so I'm probably gonna have to do two coats of paint, and I'm realizing that I have to paint probably the entire store. The plan was to only do paint the one wall, but I don't think that's gonna be the case, so that's gonna be today. All right, last look at it completely empty.
the chairs pass the test? Hmm? Do they pass the test? This table, that little table right there, I got, but it's damaged, but I was just checking for size. I think we need something a little bit bigger right there. Yep, you're right, right there, Bubba. Um, and then on this side, so I think plant here to cover this. I don't know about sizing for this because if people are sitting there, I don't want them to be too crowded looking at stuff here. But Adam made a good point about maybe doing a full length mirror right here so people could try on jewelry and then look at it. And I just think it's good to have a full length mirror in here anyway. But I don't know if I can move that over anymore without that feeling crowded for people. Although this could move a little bit closer to the door. So I don't know, but then do shelf, shelf, well, wherever. <gasps> Is Dada getting you? Say, Dad, don't get me. Now this hand goes up here. Now pull. Pull. Okay. I'm back at the store and my parents are actually meeting me up here because we're going to put the table that was in our old office in here until we get our custom cash wrap made. Uh, but I did bring the plant stand. This is from the old office and I think I might get different plants because all of these are in white pots and with the white walls, it's just very, very bland. I also did bring our sign, which is going to hang over here behind the cash wrap. And a friend of ours made a vinyl logo so we can put that in the window, which is gonna be awesome. So I think after Theo gets up, Adam's gonna come up here and help me put that in the window. Theo and I are up here. There he is. And I just put together this shelving unit that I'm gonna put in the corner. I'm actually gonna move where the plant stand is right here and put it maybe in the other corner, but I'm gonna put this unit here because I'm a little bit worried about how much display room we have for products. And I wanna be able to display obviously as many products as we can. So that's where the plant stand is. Here is the shelving unit. We're gonna swap them really quick. Yeah. Another day. <laughs> at the store. I just got the mirror delivered and the table that's gonna go kind of in the middle of the store. So I came up here to set up the mirror. I think Adam and I are actually gonna come up when he gets home from work and hang the shelves as well. So, making moves. <gasps> Whoa! I'm currently at the storefront and I figured I would just do a short check-in because all of the clips have been just like crazy random things because that is just how moving in has been going. We are still in the process of putting furniture together and because the city hasn't done their final inspection, um, we have to keep the door a lot, like a key in the door. So I can't lock anything in here. So I'm not bringing any of our actual inventory or anything valuable here yet which is hard because i want to start merchandising the shelves and like getting things organized so that we can open asap when they give us the word but yeah we don't have any of that yet so i'm going to show you what it's looking like right now this is standing at the front door so when you walk in there's these two chairs are kind of out of place right now and then this is the overview It's very messy still, obviously. This is the table that Permanent Jewelry will be happening at. I'm waiting for the chairs to be delivered. I think they're gonna be delivered today. And then the plant stand did go in that corner. This is still a work in progress over here. And then in this corner, we're going to put another one of the cabinets. So it'll have a matching cabinet. I'm going to assemble that today. And then above here, I ordered letters that say get linked up and then they'll be able to choose chains and charms and everything over here very excited about that you can barely see the table right now because it's so messy in here but this is the table from our old office and i am getting a custom cash wrap built but until we have that i did want something here so this is going to serve as the cash wrap for now and back here is where this sb sign is going to be hung very excited about that. I'm waiting on a cabinet to cover up that ugly, ugly box. And then over here is where all of our merchandise will live. So in the corner, I did wanna just put something there so it wasn't just a blank corner. I figured I would put some display items and just a few extra things. Those plants are not gonna stay exactly like that. And then on each side of the mirror, I have a cabinet. And the two shelves are up over here. 
I still need to put the shelves over here. So those will hopefully go up in the next day or so. I'm in love with this mirror. I'm jealous that I don't have it at my house. <laughs> And then over in this corner, I do have a fake tree that I ordered. It's pretty tall so that it'll kind of cover the ugly <laughs> fire extinguisher. And it has a really cute pot that is also being delivered, I think, today. So that'll be like a nice greenery for the middle. And then looking over here, we do have this middle table and we have a big rug that's being delivered I think tomorrow. So that is gonna kind of tie in some of the color. And then this middle table will also be placed more in the middle once we have an idea of where that is. And this will have a merchandise underneath it as well. It's definitely coming together. I love the way that it looks so far. I'm so excited about it. I think it's gonna be the cutest storefront in Royal Oak. It's just adorable the way that it is looking. Obviously, it'll be much more tied in when we have the rest of the pieces, but yeah, I'm very, very, very excited about it. I never thought that we wouldn't be moved in at this point. Like, this has taken far longer than I ever thought it would be possible to take, so it's definitely testing my patience, but we're working with it and hoping that we'll be moved in completely and we'll be able to be open very, very soon. Anyway, I will update you when I get that cabinet built a little bit later, I'm gonna do some computer work first. And then when I get the cabinet built, I will show you what that looks like. And obviously when I get the chairs and the rug and the plant and the, the sign hung and all the things. I'm pretty sure the delivery people at my house think I'm insane because I have something new coming in every single day. But my rug, <laughs> do you like that rug pad? Yeah, what is that? Should we, should we put the rug on top? Yeah. It is the moment of truth. I ordered this rug online. <laughs> what do you think? Is it going to be good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's open it up. We're going to open it up and see. Of course the rug came folded in the opposite direction, so I can't see it. So let's, let's unfold it and see. Another day back at the store. We actually got approval today. The inspections went through finally and we can open so i'm just trying to figure out the last few things to get done so that we can start taking appointments and then we're going to do a grand opening um probably like early ish february this is what i'm working on right now i'm going to prime this adam and his stepdad made it over the weekend for me and this is actually going to frame out this wall you will see the whole thing later, but for now, I'm just going to get it primed. Last look before we get the transition and I get our logo up here. Today is the day that we have our very first permanent jewelry appointments coming in and it's it's still messy so <laughs> i'm trying to get the rest of everything just kind of organized as much as we can for now the store is not going to be a hundred percent done but i do want to show you the progress there's a few other styling things that i'm going to do quickly i have like two hours before the first appointment and yeah we just need to get this place picked up as much as we can and then as we go along over the next couple of weeks there's going to be more updates that we do um, just because we're not we're not completely done the custom cash wrap that i ordered is not going to be in for like eight more weeks and then we do have our neon sign which we're going to turn on <laughs> We're at a point at the store where it's where it's gonna be for the foreseeable future. So I figured that I would show you around and show you what everything looks like right now. Um, there are some things that are gonna change, but they're not going to yet. So I figured I would just show you. Here's the outside of the store. So we just have our social handles and website and then the logo with a couple of other little things. And when you walk in, This is what the overview of it looks like. We've got some plants right here. I love the look of plants. I'm not good at taking care of them. So only this bottom left one is real. The other two are fake. 
And then this is where our permanent jewelry is. This other chair on the left will be replaced so that they will be matching, but we've got all of our supplies and stuff in the two drawers. And then our argon tank is down here. Over here, we have the cabinet, which this is just storage and everything. Those are the custom letters, and Adam and his stepdad actually made the frame for this, which I'm so happy with. And then we have the chains. All of the displays are right here. I am going to do a few other things on this wall. This is where the wall ended up for the grand opening, and there are still some tweaks that I wanna do, but I think that it looks really, really good. I love the photos, and it just kinda gives the steps that you do. So super happy with how this turned out. I mentioned before that we ordered a cash wrap, but it's not gonna be here for like two more months. So this is what we're working with right now. This is the old table from our old office. And then the sign that my dad made, this is what it looks like for now. Again, I will update when we have the actual cash wrap. We have lots of shelves and the tree is blocking the fire extinguisher you probably can't see that um, and then again more storage lots of displays we're probably gonna mess around with all of this we have the same thing over there uh, but for now this is what it looks like and I will share where everything is from and then lastly the two chairs that blanket is just from Ikea and our middle table with this beautiful beautiful rug so it was definitely a challenge trying to make everything that we need in this space fit because it is such a small space, but I think we did a good job. I think I'm actually gonna make a video sharing like how to you know, design and organize a really small retail space, um, but I will link every single thing that we used that I can link down below. Some of it obviously was made for us, but everything that I can link, I will link for you below. Mm -hmm.